What's going on gang? This is Yanni and you guys are inside the fisherman's belly and I'm telling you what, if you've got some fresh halibut, I've got just the recipe for you. A halibut fettuccine cooked in an alfredo sauce. Oh my god. Who's alfredo? Okay, let's start with two to three tablespoons of some extra virgin olive oil. Okay, now I've got one medium-sized onion that I grated. Okay, here's three cloves of garlic that I smashed with some kosher salt. So it's nice and pasty and it's gonna be perfect and it won't stand out in the sauce. Now for some cracked black pepper. Okay, everything's been sautéing for about two to three minutes. Time for the butter. One stick unsalted butter. Use real butter, fellas. Don't use margarine. You don't eat this every day. There we go. Alright gang, so we got the stick of butter in here and it is completely melted. That's exactly what you want. And now it's time to add a little bit of liquid. Okay, so you can add some fish stock, some chicken stock. I don't have either, but what I do have is I've got a cup of water and I've got some Vietnamese fish sauce. Now. Believe me, the Vietnamese have figured this out. This fish sauce you can use in every savory fish dish you have. It's just incredible. I'm going to take a, tea, a tablespoon of it and put it in this cup. The only downside to this is it just really smells bad. As soon as you open up this lid, it's just a bad smell. Put it in your dish and that smell will completely go away. But this fish sauce will add an incredible flavor. And it wasn't the Asians or the Vietnamese that actually invented this all by themselves. In the Mediterranean, the Greeks, the Romans, the North Africans, we have fish sauce as well. And fish sauce, by the way, is nothing more than fermented fish. But it adds a layer of flavor that you're not gonna believe. And in this fettuccine, this Alfredo sauce that I'm making here, oh my God, just hold on. I'm taking off the lid. Okay, now we're gonna cook this down and let this simmer till it reduces by half, and then we're gonna add our heavy cream. Okay, now is the time to put the pot of water on. I've got a large pot, I've got it seven eighths away filled with water. You need to always put a lot of water when you're cooking pasta so that it doesn't stick because the pasta gives off starch. If there's not enough water, all the starch and the pasta stick together. So always use a lot of water. Don't worry about adding any oil to your water. Just use a lot of water. And then always, always, at least a handful of salt inside your water. Right, because it's gotta taste just like the ocean. This has been going at it between 10 and 15 minutes total. So it's reduced by half. It's time for the heavy cream. Okay, now it's time to add two cups of this heavenly, heavenly heavy cream. Oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna cook this for another five or 10 minutes until it starts to reduce and thicken. Okay, it's time for one egg yolk. And that's simple enough. There's a whole egg. And then literally reach in with your fingers and separate the egg yolk from the egg white. There you go, there you go. And you put that right in there and you take out your whisk and whisk. Don't let the egg cook, you gotta whisk it in. All right, and here's the very last ingredient. Grated Parmesan cheese. That egg yolk is completely incorporated in there. All right, let's get the par one cup Parmesan cheese. This is the last ingredient before the halibut. Oh, the water's starting to boil. It's time to add the fettuccine. 
All right, gentlemen, one package, one pound of fettuccine. All right, make sure you stir up your pasta. You don't want it sticking together. We got plenty of water to help prevent that. And speaking of fish pastas, my God, I've got a great recipe, and the link is right over there, for just an unbelievable fish pasta with a tomato sauce instead of an Alfredo. And on top of that, I also have an unbelievable squid pasta recipe. If you guys have some great market squid, some fresh market squid, right up there, a link for a perfect squid pasta recipe. It goes through how to clean the squid and everything. Look how our, our sauce is already starting to thicken up here. Draw a line. Yeah, that sauce is thickened up. That's an old test chefs do. Perfect, time for the halibut. Okay, here's our halibut. Two pounds of cubed up halibut, as fresh as can be. Here we go. Oh my God. This isn't gonna take long to cook. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, fellas, when you're cooking pasta, you always have to check the pasta. You don't want to overcook your pasta. You don't want mushy pasta. The Italians say they want their pasta al dente. That means to the tooth. That means when you chomp on it with your teeth, you can actually feel a texture. There isn't just mush. So in order to get it there, you have to always test your pasta. Mm. The fettuccine is a little bit on the thick side, so you have to be careful. We're, we're less than a minute away from being done. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna turn off the fire, take this, and pour it through the colander and put it in the platter. All right, here we go. Oh my God, this smells so insane. Oh my goodness. Some extra Parmesan cheese. Some chopped up fresh parsley right from the garden. Last but not least, a little fresh cracked black pepper. God, this smells so good. And there you have it, boys and girls, another creation, halibut cooked in Alfredo on top of fettuccine. Hey, if you're new and you found me for the first time, or if you're a regular and you've been watching, but you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon, that way you won't miss any of my new recipes. And if you have any questions about today's recipe, ask them down below. My name is Yanni, thanks for spending some time with me today at Fisherman's Belly, and we'll see you guys at the next one just as soon as I'm done eating this. Who the heck is Alfredo anyway?